lot of history here too. Macy's gonna ask the guard on a date. A little bit different, not a special friend, Laura. Bombing cloud break. Morning. Hola. Good, thank you. Worked out the secret when the waves are big. You just don't think about it till you get there and you're in the, in the spot of paddling into the wave. And even then you just don't think about it. I can't just go out expecting to not catch a wave and then if I get one I'm stoked. I want to be like, oh, I'm not again, like the bomb of the day. But like, if you get pumped and you survive, then you're still stoked. It's like a win-win. Out there, Sage. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, it doesn't have a I'm gonna be on oh. jet ski assist. <laughs> Moral support. <laughs> How'd your cloudy session go? Oh, I didn't really. I didn't get anything. Anything too good. Yeah. Well, there's a whole heap of different types of coral here, and uh, essentially, um, we just pick off the ones that have already been broken, and we try and. Um, peel different branches, strands off, and then we'll place it in the rope, and then they'll regenerate again. And then they regenerate, they get bigger, then we take them, cut them off the rope, they actually grow around the rope, mm -hmm. and on these little cookies, coral cookies. Coral cookie. We transplant them to the reef. So this is one of the best surf reefs in the world. Cloudbreak Reef inside here, and it's on the, on the Great Sea Reef, which is the third largest continuous barrier reef system in the world. So what we're trying to do is just uh, conserve it and protect it and regenerate it so it's there for our future generations. You don't think that you can actually physically do, do much. much like I think sometimes you feel like mm. you're actually like there's all these problems and how can you help and like we do our bit with you know trying to like reduce plastic and and they're those things that we can do daily but then you know something like coral how you think how can I help yeah. and nursing <laughs> You know, things like, you know, your products that you're using. Sunscreen. Yeah, sunscreen and, and everything. And, then and I it's had like no idea about. so easy. Anyone can do it. I can do this all day. I'm having fun. Like, Basically, we're, just, we're going to come back and watch our coral grow over the next six months and yeah. then get replanted and basically start a whole other little um, coral system. So, I mean, that was pretty easy. It was pretty inspiring. Like, it's pretty cool. It's so inspiring. I, I know. I want to like, so like, oh, well. go home and check out the reef. <laughs> We're gonna make some reef breaks. The scungies. Yeah. The scungy reef at Narrabeen Point. <laughs> See if we can. Yeah, so Suva was. Suva. The Coral Coast isn't Suva, right? We did Coral Coast, Monta Tatusasu Suvi. Matsunabusi? Surf Resort, the most like Zen garden surf resort you've ever seen. No one sit there. <laughs> <laughs> What resort are we at? We are at Matsunibusi um, Eco Resort. It's 
um, located on the Coral Coast. Such a beautiful part of the coast here, um, not only because of the location, but there's like at least five different breaks on this coast. There's rights, there's lefts. If you go out like 40 minutes on the boat, there's frigates. It's a friendlier version of cloud break. That's how I like to describe it. And definitely not as crowded. <laughs> Probably the sickest left here. I would pick frigates any day over cloud break. That's a pretty good call. But it's the sickest way. boated up to this village which was beyond anything that I could have ever expected. Both cool. We can go in such shallow water and slide around a bit. But um, so much to look at, huh? Such a different part of the island that I haven't really seen much of. Yeah, it's super cool. A lot of history here, too. Um, to be able to come to a place and not just come and surf the waves, but to come and get to meet actually what and who Fiji is, um, is super special. And I think the traditions that they carry, the kava ceremony, um, no matter how many years go by, they still practice it. You're the best running animals. My kids are so beautiful. Um, we don't speak the same language, but there's something I think as humans and people um, with holding hands or smiling or hugging that uh, you don't need to speak to feel that. So it's so beautiful here and to even see that they grow their own food and we got to eat it and um, share a meal. This is great. And some kava. I might roll down the hill on my way back to the boat. Uh, so it's been really special. Okay, Vinaka, Vinaka, the more that you get to that side, the more lush and green and alive it feels. And even within the people, the, the fact that I had so much more of a closeness um, to experience within the villages between the kids and the people and I think we had Fijian night maybe like five nights in a row. Uh, 
that we put in the deed in the past because uh, the reason why our ancestors, our grandparents, they can leave the food. The food can be last for a couple of days. That's why we do this type of cookie. Yeah? It's called the lobo. They will open the leaves from the giant taro leaves. We call that via. So after the leaves, the food will be there. So they'll slowly pick up the food from the lobo, which is cooked. It's very, it's, you know, it's hot. See how they do it. See. You ready for dinner tonight? Hula, hula. Oh, yeah. Check it out. Laura left this morning. Oh, we already missed her a ton. And then she sends me this message. Tells me to check the, the board rack and left me this beauty. I'm so, so stoked. We're going to Suva. It's uh, the capital of Fiji and where I live. So I'm excited to show the girls and everyone else my hometown and my home break. So I'm looking forward to it. We just arrived in Suva by the Novotel. Next destination. It is the capital of Fiji and I've been here three years before and I've never made it to this side. So it's exciting to see something new. I've never been to this side of the coast. It's really cool that we're able to like come and surf spots like this where yeah, people don't really get the chance to surf or even see. I didn't even know about this and it's like so amazing. It's really cool. Like always kind of like intimidating and big and scary and um, yeah we're just so lucky to have like rippable fun waves. I'm so stoked to be um, here especially with Hannah it's her vocal break and um, so nice of her and her friends and family to share it with us. Today we are going on a boat up the river and we're going to visit a little village and then we're going to go back down in some tubes and yeah. I can't remember the last time I was ever in a tube, literally. <laughs> I've never been tubed. This is the first time I'll ever be tubed. <laughs> tubed in Fiji. We didn't get tubed out cloud break, so we're gonna get tubed down the river. <laughs> I'm excited. This is it's so beautiful here. So nice. Should be a good day. Sun's out, tubed out. The boat ride was so beautiful. It was so peaceful and so lush and the fact that there was just waterfalls randomly as we were coming up and really sweet little village people and kids playing that we got to wait. Oh my god, they're going down it. Is a 10 foot drop right now. I'll test it out for you. 
I like, might be more scared I am now than I was out car break. Actually. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty scared. Oh, there's rocks there. At least you're taking off here. <laughs> I took off once. How many times did you take off? At least I'm taking off here. <laughs> am I gonna hit my butt? <laughs> Tube. <laughs> the tube, the rapids is the perfect finale. Yeah. It was like I was scared. A double barrel. <laughs> yeah. True. And spat out. It was pretty good. <laughs> what I enjoyed the most about this trip was being together with such a fun crew and such a fun group of girls. And the fact I've never come on a trip where I got to travel with this amazing local girl and her show me and my friends her home and her home be the most like magical, special place ever. But we got amazing surf out at Suva. Just the funnest, most playful ride. Um, I shouldn't say it's the best girl wave ever, but it's so forgiving and catering that I feel like by the second day, Macy and I were kind of pushing it a little bit for ourselves, or just maybe excited, really. Surf's up. Come here, like, two I'll be back. <laughs>